students in continuation of the previous discussion here now we are going to discuss about the sources characteristics and methods of treatment of the different industries the three different industries that we are going to cover during our discussion are sugar industry dairy industry and distillery industry so let us see the sugar industry first there are different steps which are involved in the sugar production that is procurement of sugar cane milling of sugar cane juice preparation joy juice concentration syrup processing and crystallization sugar crystal separation drying packaging and molasses handling and the last one is bagasse utilization during all these processes the water is used in the huge amount therefore each and every step will be responsible for generation of the waste water in the sugar industry so let us see these are the sources of the waste water coming from or generated from each and every step first is mill house boiling house boiler house pump cooling water sulfur furnace lime hydrator excess condensate final effluent and spray pond overflow each and all these waste water generated from all the sources having the pollution characteristic that is it is having high bod high volatile solid and low ph along with that the it, the sugar industry waste water is having the typical characteristics like bod cod ph temperature tss tds tvs that is total volatile solid oil grease sulfates nitrogen phosphorus chloride calcium and magnesium each and every parameter or the characteristic is having its typical value in the sugar industry let us say for bod it is 1250 for ph it is 5 to 7 let uh, just take sulfate it is 500 so these are the typical standards and the typical characteristic in mg per liter will be observed in the sugar industrial waste water this is the typical flow chart of the treatment of sugar industrial waste water the waste water coming from the mill house and the other waste are first of all passed through the bar screen the water coming from the mill industry is passed through the grease trap because it may contain certain as the mill milling plant involves the greasing and all so definitely to some extent the waste water also contained the waste uh, greases so to trap that grease the it should pass through the grease trap after that the all the waste water is passed through the equalization tank which is also called as a first stage digestion pond having detention time one day for one day it is detained here or retained and the complete equalization is carried out after that the water is passed through the anaerobic lagoon and detained for the 6 day where the bod loading is provided 0.3 kg per meter cube per day after the anaerobic lagoon treatment the waste water passed through the aerobic where the waste stabilization pond stabilization is carried out in the aerobic ponds it is detained for the 12 days and this phase is called as a second stage after that the influent is discharged in the safe manner apart from this the water coming from the excess condensate water uh, condenser water and the spray pond overflow is directly joins to the effluent because it doesn't need any treatment so this is the flow chart of the treatment of sugar industrial waste water then dairy industry dairy industry process involves the various steps like receiving station bottling plant cheese plant butter plant dry milk plant dry milk plant casein plant and cooling tower waste so water used for in all these plants definitely um, generate a huge amount of waste water so these are the waste uh, waste water sources in the dairy industry like spill and leak of product or by product residual milk or milk product in piping and equipment before cleaning wash solutions from equipment and floors condensate for from the evaporation processes and pressing and brine from the cheese manufacturing so the water used in all these steps and plants will definitely will generate the waste water 
This is the typical characteristic of the dairy waste water. The dairy waste water is having pH, alkalinity, TSS, TDS, BOD, COD, nitrogen, phosphorus, oil and grease and chlorides. And the typical value in mg per litre are 7.2, 580, 720, 1020, 1190, 1990, 12, 320 and 115. The dairy industry having its pollution characteristics like because the dairy industrial wastewater is having high dissolved solids, high suspended solid, high BOD, phosphorus, nitrogen, oil and grease. So the suggested treatment for the dairy wastewater is physical treatment should be followed by the aerobic biological treatment in the form of high rate trickling filter or activated sludge process. Equalization tank is commonly provided. Sludge can be dried on the sludge drying beds. Oxidation ponds and oxidation ditches can also be provided for the digestion of the wastewater. This is the typical flowchart of the treatment of dairy industrial wastewater. Influent coming from all the sources, sources are first of all passed through the bar screen, then oil and grease trap because as it is dairy industry so huge amount of oil and grease may contain. So to trap that it should pass through the oil and grease. Then it it passed through the equalization tank for in the equalization tank it is detained for some certain period then it goes to the biological treatment because as the organic matters are present in the dairy waste water so biological treatment is recommended for that so it is passed through the aeration tank where the seeding is done or the recirculation of the sludge is carried out and aeration is done after aeration and all activate uh, the suspended solid or the organic matter slush stabilized will start settling at the bottom which is taken out or which, which is uh, collected in the sedimentation tank and from where the clear clarified effluent is taken out whereas the sludge settled sludge is taken out from the sedimentation tank and it is dried in the sludge drying beds then Dishlery waste industry. Dishlery industry is having the sources of wastewater like steelage, fermenter, condenser, cooling water, and fermenter wastewater. The typical characteristic of distillery wastewater is pH, total suspended solid, TDS, BOD, COD, and nitrogen. It is said that usually the BOD and COD value of the distillery wastewater is quite high as you can observe in the typical value column. The pH is 4.4 to 7, TSS is 16 to 516, then total dissolved solids is 272 to 2724, whereas BOD goes up to 3000 and COD goes up to 1200, which is quite high as compared to the sugar and the dairy waste water, whereas nitrogen is between 7 to 42. The pollution characteristic of the distillery industry involves it is having the very high BOD as I said very high COD high chloride and sulfates highly colored brownish yellow color. So because of the color and all it is very imp uh, important and very necessary that it should be treated very carefully so that the color will get color and odor will get removed and then it should be discharged in the safe manner. The suggested treatment for this distillery wastewater is two-stage aerobic uh, treatment using trickling filter and the use of anaerobic lagoons and aerated lagoons followed by polishing ponds. The distillery industries um, is not, uh, it is a, a universal word used for the uh, fermenter industries, brewery or the um, millet industries so the all the wastewater coming from the breweries distilleries and all uh, wineries are comes under the distillery industries so the same treatments are provided for all the wastewater coming from the breweries distilleries and the wineries the flow chart for treatment of dairy wastewater here if you see we can provide the two alternatives uh, treatment processes in the first alternative, the influent which is coming should be passed through the bar screen, then the primary clarifier, then if as we can, we, we have discussed that two 
times or the two stage trickling filters are used then it goes to the secondary clarifier where from where the effluent is taken out whereas the sludge settled in the secondary clarifier is to certain uh, to some part it is circulated and it is after passing through the primary clarifier it is it goes to the digester and then to the sludge drying beds this is the this is the um, first alternative the in the second alternative effluent is passed through the bar screen then grit chamber to remove the floating and the grit material from the water waste water then it passed through the anaerobic lagoons then aerobic lagoons and then polishing pond the cpcb has recommended and suggested some discharge standard for the sugar dairy and fermentation industries like maltries breweries and the uh, distilleries let us see what are those standards standards means discharge standards means before disposing the effluent into the uh, natural stream these standards or these uh, concentration levels or the limit should be maintained and checked and after that only the waste water should be discharged into the environment for the sugar industry the bod should be 100 for the disposal of on land if you are disposing the sugar industrial waste water on land the bod should be 100 mg per liter whereas suspended solid it, it should be 30 if it is disposed in the surface water 100 for the land disposal and 30 for the disposal on the surface water whereas for the dairy waste effluent the ph should be in the range of 6.5 to 8.5 whereas bod 100 then suspended solid should be 150 grease and oil should be 100 uh, sorry 10 mg per liter for distillery waste water the ph should be in the range of 5.5 to 9 color and odor it should be absent because as the waste water coming from the distillery waste water is having very high color and odor so it it should not be there before disposing of the suspended solid 100 bod if it is disposed in land or surface water it should be 30 and if it is disposed on the land or for irrigation the waste water uh, bod should be 100 in this particular discussion we have discussed the different industries like sugar dairy and distillery waste uh, distillery industry we also discussed the so different sources of waste water in these three industries characteristics of the uh, waste water and the treatment method adopted and recommended for the treatment of industrial waste of these industries along with that we have also seen the discharge stand standards as per the cpcb if we want to dispose the water waste water effluent of these industries on land on surface water and the on the in the sea thank you for watching